Eu saúdo a igreja com a paz, Senhor, amém? amém. É, eu queria os, os irmãos abrir suas bíblias em Apocalipse 22. Versículo 6. Quem achou, diz amém. Amém. Eu vou, eu vou pregar em inglês, porque o meu português não é muito bom, tá bom? Então, ela está falando... Look, I am coming soon. Blessed is the one who keeps the words of the prophecy written in the scroll. Amém? What it's saying here is that Jesus is coming back. And no one knows when, only him. And when he comes back, people are either gonna forgive him or forgive themselves for all the sins that they did. And then there's a possibility that you can go up to heaven. He will forgive everyone. I, I started to, um, to read the Bible when I was around 11, which wasn't that long ago. And that's okay, I think, you know, because When I first started reading it, I think I thought to myself, this was boring. This was like a waste of time. And then I started reading it again and again. And when I went back to the the part that I read read it the first time, I was seeing new things from that verse. Amen. Like in John 14 7 it said from jesus was saying who who follow who loves him is going to follow his commandments and he loves the one who followed his commandments amen and i did a lot of sins i, I don't know about you but i do a lot of sins even before i gave my soul to, to jesus I, I did a lot of stuff really bad. I can't name them, but it was really bad. And I, I never prayed at that time. At that time, I was just sleeping. I was like, you know what, let me just go to sleep instead of praying. My dad used to always pray. He, we have our, uh, our room that we go and pray. Whenever we pray, I like, I need a, sh my dad t told me like a couple months ago, you have to express yourself to Jesus. When you express yourself, he receives the, the prayer. When he receives it, he is going to bless you. And at that time, I used to like lay around, I used to walk around, I used to just, not give I don't I really don't pay attention and I I started um, kneeling down to Jesus two months ago and that changed my life I started piano cla um, piano classes because one day my dad he was going to South Boston he stayed there And he's, he felt something in his heart just to stay there. And so my dad, how he um, works with Lyft and Uber, he stayed there. And someone um, called him to come to go pick her up. And when he, picked, when he picked her up, she said, God gave me a piece in my heart so I can give you, your son, a, a piano lesson. So like she's 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 paying for my piano lessons, and that was that was incredible. I always liked Hallelujah. I always liked piano, but I never had an interest to like search on YouTube like free free lessons. 
I never had the patience for that. And so um, it has been a year, but for me singing, and the, um, the day that I got a prophecy from a man, he told, he prayed for me. After he opened the Bible, he, he um, read a prophecy for me and saying that I was going to sing. And I didn't know that I, I never sang in my life, like before that. Before that, I used to um, say bad words and stuff like that. I used to go ahead and just swear a lot. And I didn't know that was bad or, wrong or right. People say it's wrong. And I do, I do believe them. And um, two days after I got, I received that message from the man. I I prepared a song called Oceans. A lot of people know it. It's in English, Portuguese, probably other languages too that I don't know of. And um, when I went to sing it. I didn't know anything. I looked back, the, the, there was no words behind me. And so I looked back because there was a TV behind me and I was just looking and I was, there was nothing there. So I just, I was deciding to give up. But then the words came back into my mind. And when I finally remember that, the words, my voice, my voice changed. My voice, like last time it was like, like very, uh, I don't know how to say that in English, but it was really, you know, like, it wasn't really good. And I, uh, um, I went ahead, and two weeks later, I started to train a song called Kami Vekanto. And that was one of the best songs I've sang today, since today, because it was the first song and the last song I'm singing because that gave a huge, you know, a huge step up to the game, like I said. And I love, I love singing. And I never pictured myself as a, as a preacher. I only pictured myself on a concert, singing to God, praising for Him, speaking in tongues, in dreams, you know. But I never saw that in your life. I just saw me here. Hallelujah. I was just here singing, and then one day, I just, my dad told me, you know what, you're not gonna stand up here. You're gonna stand here, down, stand down here, and you're gonna sing. And I was like, okay, if, if the pastor lets me, and then he did. And when I sing, I express myself. I, ex I like, I express myself more than I usually did. So before I started singing, I was like this, like a stick, just singing. It was like, it's like, just singing, right? And then when I came down here, I was expressing myself. I was praising the Lord. Whenever I was singing, people would stand up. They cry. I, I never knew people couldn't cry with my words coming out of my mouth. I never knew that. That was amazing. That was the first time too, right? And I just want to thank the Lord that He gave me this this power. I I, I never knew I could have this. And a lot of people they started way younger than me, like preaching and singing. And I I I one day. I thought I was the man. I was like, I was really good and I was singing. But no, when, after that day, I had a terrible peace in my, my heart. Like it was, it was really bad. And then I was, I was like, I was really bad at that day. That day was not good for me because um, at that night, after the day that I thought I was the man at the, um, a day be uh, after of it, I I went to sleep. I had a dream, and Jesus was talking to me. And I didn't I didn't I didn't see his face. It was just light, a light talking to me. And I kept looking around. It's like where are where are you coming from? And so 
I was talking to him. I was like, it wasn't even a dream for me. I thought I was real. When I was about to touch him, my hand, it hurt. And I was, and I was like, why did it hurt? And then the day after, when I woke up, I told my dad I had this dream. And he said, it's not good to think that you're the guy. It's not good because then when you're up at the stage, you're singing and then your voice might shut down, like oh tremble or yeah. something like that. And it, would, it should just go away. And then one day you're just gonna re regret it. Just like, why did I do that? Why did I think I was a man? And so I wanted to say to God, I was sorry from that day. From that day, I knew I was not the man. The man is God. No one here is the man. Whoever is the man here is in Jesus or God. Before I end my but I got some or preach. I wanted to sing a song, all right? And so, and after I sing, I would like to pray for you people. Amen. 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 Amém. Eu queria a igreja ficasse de pé em nome de Jesus e cantar comigo se você conhece a música. Amém? Abençoa essas pessoas que estão aqui na sua, na sua casa hoje. Abençoa todas as crianças, os pais, as mães. Abençoa todo mundo que participou com os de dia hoje. E em todos os grupos que um, apresentou. E abençoa esse dia e o dia de manhã, que amanhã é domingo. E é o seu dia para adorar o seu nome. Em nome de Jesus. Amém. Amém.